I can't fix it with no song, I'm just here thinking out loud, uh Life is a merry go, we go round One day we up, one day we down all right now here is the best way to share your content from your samsung phone privately to other contacts while you also have complete control over the content that you have shared and this is made possible by samsung through its exclusive feature called private share though this is not a new feature the recent update for this feature has made it a lot better and expanded the availability on samsung's non-flagship phones as well now let me tell you what you can do with this you can send texts, photos, videos, or recorded files to a designated receiver who will be able to open the file. You will be able to revoke the permission to open the file at any point of time you feel to do so. You can prevent the recipients from resharing the files you shared with them. The receiver will not be able to save or capture the files through screenshots. And lastly, you can set expiration dates for the files to disappear. This is how you can maintain the privacy and securely share the data with your contacts. Now, let's see how we can use this feature. There are two ways of using it. You can go to Settings, Biometrics and Security, Private Share, or you can also directly tap on Private Share icon. Here you can select the files you would like to share. As you can see, we can attach images, videos, audio or documents Then select the recipients and just press the send button. Here you see it says the recipients needs to install the private share before they can receive files privately. So just make sure the other phone is Samsung and it has private share feature installed in it. By default, it will be available on eligible Samsung phones. Now here you see you can share the file through a text message or QR code or send with an app. If you tap on send with an app, you can use any third party apps such as WhatsApp or mailing apps to share the files. And these are going to the receiver through a private link. The receiver can open the link to access the files you have shared. Now let me go back and tap here on this icon and tap on detail. It says use the private number to send and receive files without sharing your phone number. To receive the files with the private number, share it with the sender and tell the sender to use it as your phone number when sending to you. This is brilliant, isn't it? We can even hide our contact number and display a private number when we share files privately. Now let's go back and tap on settings. Here we can set expiry date for the link. So after a set deadline, the link will automatically expire. The second way of doing this is by first selecting the files from the source and tapping on share. We get private share option, select that and select the recipient and follow the same process. This is how we can use private share feature on Samsung. Now recently there was an update received for this feature which brought some improvements. Samsung has also mentioned that this feature has been expanded to some non-premium phones as well. And now we can send file sizes up to 100 MB through private share. This is what we got with the recent update. That's about it in this video. I hope this would be useful to you. Let me know your thoughts about it and make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. If I said you wasn't by my side But when I needed you the most I saw you running high Oh, I remember how we used to run the street, yeah I pulled a James, came from Akron with the heat, yeah Man, I can't believe that I wasted all my energy